my name is Josh Bruce and in this screencast we're going to be taking a look at the UI table view. We're going to populate it with some data and then we're going to implement the UI search bar to be able to search through the data within the UI table view. So let's get started and create a new project in Xcode. Single view application. We're going to call it search me for the iPhone. Uncheck that choose a place to save it and then we're going to head straight over to our storyboard and I'm going to make this for the iPhone for the smaller iPhone because I'm working on a low resolution here for the screencast and I'm going to get rid of these two view controllers and I'm also going to get rid of this so over in our objects library, we're going to head over and drag out a table view controller. And we're also going to go up to the editor, embed in a navigation controller. So I'm going to give this a title of search me. And then we're also going to bring out another view controller for our detail. And we'll leave that for now. So as soon as you create a UI table view in Xcode, you always want to go to File, New, File, Objective-C Class, and Cocoa Touch. And make sure it's a subclass of UI Table View Controller. And we're going to call this Table View Controller. Actually, we're going to call it Master Table View Controller. And make sure it's in the same directory. Head back over to our storyboard. Make sure that you've got your UI table view selected. Head over to the identity inspector. And under custom class, we're going to change the class to be our master table view controller. Now in the properties panel, if you select the table view, make sure it's on dynamic. And then if we actually select the cell itself, we're gonna we're just gonna have it as a basic cell. And we're gonna give it an identifier of cell, just to keep things simple. And we're also gonna give it an accessory of a disclosure indicator. This is gonna be our push to our detail view. So whilst holding control, and clicking on our table view cell and dragging over to our view controller. Let go and hit push. We're going to give this segue here an identifier of show detail. And we're going to give this a title of detail. This is our master controller and this is our detail controller here. And now we're going to create another file, Objective-C class, and this time we're going to have a subclass of UI view controller. And this is going to be our detail view controller, saved in the right directory again. Back to the storyboard and on our detail view controller, we're going to head over and change the class to our detail view controller again. So now that that's all hooked up, we need to go into our master view controller. And we're going to create a few properties. So this one's going to be non-atomic and strong, NS mutable array, star, and we're going to call it objects. And then we're going to create another property, non-atomic, strong, NS mutable array again, and this is going to be our results from our search. And we're also going to implement the search bar later, so we'll leave that for now. And then if we come into our viewcontroller.m, we're going to get rid of some of this that we don't need. Get rid of these comments, give us some space to work with.
and we don't need any of this, not for this tutorial anyway. Right, so we've got our cell identifier set up. This is the same value that you used in here for your identifier. So if you don't use cell, make sure to change it in here, otherwise it won't work. And for the number of sections in our table view, we're going to see leave this at 1. And for the number of rows in the section, we're just going to do self dot objects dot count. So it's going to return the count of how many objects are in our NS mutable array. On the viewed load method, we're going to add some objects to our array. So self dot objects add object and we're just going to do some simple ones here so I'm going to copy this a couple times just get us some items and I'll change all these so Google Yahoo Apple Amazon I'm just doing this randomly people that I can think of off the top of my head. Udemy, Flickr, right, that'll do. And then in here, we're gonna configure our cell. So we literally take the cell, get the text label, because it's a basic cell, and then set the text to be self.objects, and then we're gonna get the index path dot row. Before we hit run, we need to do some lazy instantiation. So up here, ns mutable array star objects. And then we need to do if our objects doesn't exist, then we need to instantiate it. So ns mutable array alloc init and then return objects. I'm going to do the, the same for our uh, results array. NS mutable array results if not results then we're going to instantiate it and then return. So now if we hit run, you see our table view has been populated with the results. So now let's get our segue prepared. So currently when we run, we click and it segues over, but we want to pass over some information and show that it's the correct cell that's been selected so let's drag out a label into our detail view controller just line this up and I'll center this and then bring up our assistant editor and create some space and control drag and I'm just gonna call this detail label and we're also going to create another property it's going to be strong non-atomic ns string and this is going to be the detail label contents so back to our master table view right at the bottom here we're going to do uh, void prepare for segue method let me give me some space down here. And then in here, we're going to first off check if our segue identifier is equal to string. And this string is going to be the string that we set in our segue properties, the identifier here. So I'll copy and paste that in here. And then once we've done that, we need, I'm going to create some local variables. So object 
equals nil and ns index path equals nil. We'll need these later on. And then we're going to set the index path equal to self.tableView. And then the index path for selected row. So that's going to get us the index path of the row that we select in our table view. And then the object is going to be equal to self.objects. And then the index of the index path that we selected. Oh, sorry, I need to add index path row there. And then once we've done that, we're going to segue destination view controller. And then we're going to set the detail. Oh, sorry, I need to include or import. So pound import our detail view controller dot h set detail label contents and this is our object and now if I head over to the detail view controller dot m get rid of some of this we don't need that and on our view did load method Set the label text. So self dot detail label dot text equals self dot detail label contents. So now if we go ahead and run the application again, this time when we select, for example, Google, the label will be populated with the value. So let's stop that. <laughs> And we'll head back over to our master view controller dot m and we'll continue the rest of this screencast in the next video. I've run a little bit over time here, and in the next video we'll look at implementing the UI search bar. But this has been the video by the Dev Lounge. Please like us on Facebook forward slash the Dev Lounge, follow us on Twitter at the Dev Lounge, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up with a like down below and leave any comments in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.